Welcome to In the Trenches with Anisa Dorora. This was the May 31st Integral Upper Body Training Session and the first one that we've done getting back into powerlifting. I left some fun clips in here because I thought it would be nice to show you that not everything goes the way you might think it should. Um, Breathing with a kazoo has a lot of benefits and it makes me giggle too much and actually made the rest of my breathing quite difficult because I couldn't get over the giggles. So um, that was fun. But finally putting my hands in the air, I did nail breathing. I just didn't give you the full like three or four minutes that I got. This training session was amazing and one of the ways I try to frame my training sessions and think about them is the way that we lay it out in the Senecal Defy program and we do that the Defy is six modules each module has a focus and that focus easily overlays a training program so the six areas are awareness intent tension capacity, integrity, and celebration. One of the things I celebrated in this training session was the fact that that was a 55 pound bar and not a 45 pound bar. So I got to up all the weights I had originally written down by 10 pounds. I liked that. It was a significant help to my ego. Can't lie about that. When you think you're lifting 85 pounds and you end up lifting 95, way better. So it was fun. It was nice to bench press again. I love the bench. If you've watched any of my videos or, or anything on Cynical TV where we're talking about lifting, you've probably heard me say more than once, I love the bench press. And this felt good. It was nice to do a dynamic effort to focus on form and structural integrity. And um, yeah, it was just, it was so much fun. And you know, Jared and I had a great conversation beforehand. What do you need in a training partner? Well, that was easy for me. I'm like, you've been my coach for three years. You actually know what I need. I haven't been your training partner that long. I need to know what you need. And so we had a great conversation about that, which put my mind at ease about some things. So all in all, going into this was was really, um, I've probably said that already, it was fun. Man, it was nice to get under a bar. It was nice to have something relatively heavy for me in my hands. And even though I needed a little bit of body tempering on Wednesday when I went in to kind of roll out some of the sore spots. It was definitely worth it. And I could tell a difference in the way I ate, in the way I hydrated, in the way I approached going to bed and going to sleep. It just, something about lifting for me and doing that kind of engagement changes everything. So if you're familiar with the ether training method at all, you know that we do strength preparation, strength expression, and strength capacity. You'll see that I didn't have the capacity on Monday to do the kind of tape press I normally do. I usually use a 35. That was a 26 and I went down to a 15. And you know what? It was okay. It was fun. I was enjoying myself and I just focused on the tension. Um, I did speed up these videos, so no, I wasn't moving that quickly. I just sped them up so you didn't have to watch that as slowly and intentionally as I was doing. Um, this, this was just, it was nice. It was a good change of pace from what we have been doing. Our intent was very clear. And even though the intent has been somewhat clear, um, in the other workouts, 
it wasn't as measurable as this is going to be and this just added an element of fun an element of um, greater tension greater awareness of what our bodies needed and what our brains needed and all all in all it was a great session um, one of the things you're going to see as we as we approach the end of the session here is um, some of the things that we did in order to make this a multi-sensory experience by nature training like this is multi-sensory there's the weight in the hands there's things you can naturally see and hear and smell but we are very very intentional about our environment we're intentional about our attitudes coming in we're aware of how we're feeling and what we're contributing to the atmosphere for training and we do things like choose our music to match the kind of intensity that we want in the workout which means that when we're doing the groundational movement like I am doing here we're using a different kind of music. We used binaural tones for this. Um, but we had a more intense, but not super intense music during the strength preparation, expression, and capacity. We also try different essential oils to see which ones help us with endurance, with strength, with focus. And we played around with Young Living's black pepper, um, peppermint, uh, citrus fresh. We did a couple others, but those were the three that, that really stood out um, as helpful in this workout. Now we're going into a training moment with Jaren, and I'm going to be quiet. Add 20 pounds to everybody else. But, Aline, if you're going here, bad. Elaine, if you're going here, fine. I'm going soft knee to keep the breathing, to keep myself from hiking, because I can dump into my traps and get 20 more reps. But if I keep here, soft eye line, it keeps my triceps limited by where they, what they can do in position. So if you, you can go, Closer proximity to the body, it hits the tricep differently because the elbow goes back to load. You can do here where the fulcrum is the elbow and it stays in front. But I try and think elbow or elbow or elbow when I pick the grip. So here, narrower handle needs the angle to be comfortable on the wrist. Out here, we can go wider, but you want to have the shoulder blades back. Right? The more that we bring this elbow back like this, the more it hits the long head of the tricep, which is what we need to lock out that trips. So you're behind the neck, all long head. Your overhead, long head. Your skull cutters, line, or long head. So I try to mimic that with some of the body position. So neither are wrong, it's more so why, and are you compensating to do more weight or reps? Then that's wrong. That's it for this training log. If you'd like to learn more, go to CynicalTV.com, use promo code STRONGER at REST for 50% off your first month. I look forward to seeing you there.